When you were at Judson, you played about two or three different positions. I started out at Shea Safety, which is kind of like an outside linebacker position. Um, and then moved to? And then I moved to Strong Safety, and then my last year I played running back. Throughout those years, was it hard transitioning into those different positions at Judson? Um, it was some, some learning that had to take place, but I mean, once I adjusted to it, I was fine, I guess. Um, you know, when I was being raised, I was always taught to, you know, be able to adjust and be an athlete and be able to play more than one position. So, you know, they needed me, you know, my sophomore year in 10th grade, they needed me at, you know, Shea Safety. I played it, you know, we had a, you know, a great defense. There's a lot of studs on that team um, led by Coach Soto, um, who was a, you know, tremendous coach. And, you know, I was just proud that he wanted me, you know, to be a part, you know, of the team and be, you know, a starter as a sophomore. I was the only starter, you know, 10th um, grade starter that year. and. Um, it just showed the confidence that he had in me, you know, taking me from offense and putting me on defense. Having that defensive experience kind of, you know, helped my transition with running back. You know, I kind of understood like different angles and different, you know, defensive methods that, you know, defenders take place on, you know, when an opposing team. So um, it kind of helped me get a different perspective on running the ball. So kind of, I think it kind of helped me in my benefit. What did it mean for UTSA to take that risk on you? It was your first year playing running back and they wanted you as their running back. I mean, if you see talent, you see talent, right? I mean, I think they, you know, as a staff, I think um, they did a good job at, you know, scouting talent. You know, a lot of a lot of talent that was scouted for that original UTSA staff or, you know, in the league or have played in the league or have, you know, some type of professional experience, um, whether it be CFL or, like I said, NFL or, you know. Um, so I think it's just they had an eye for talent and, you know, they knew that, you know, I was, you know, got the ball rolling late and they had an opportunity to get me. You know, like I said, they were the first school to offer me at running back and that's what I wanted to play coming out of high school, going into college, so. And once UTSA gave you that offer, were you thinking about it still? Like, oh, I'm not too sure, I'm gonna go somewhere Yeah, else. no, I had no intentions on coming to UTSA. Really? Yeah, I no was, because uh, I, I wanted to move away from the city. My, uh, my original intentions were to move away from not out of the state necessarily, but at least away from San Antonio. I just wanted to get out and, you know, experience, you know, a different environment, different, you know, city and culture. Um, and the schools that I did have, I visited those schools and uh, they just, I didn't really like them that much. So, uh, and I really like UTSA, like the people from the people to the campus to what they were offering academically. Um, it just, it was the best fit for me. It was honestly the best fit. And that's why I chose it. Um, so it, it they were, you know, they were in contention with other schools, but, you know, they were the, the school that I felt fit me best um, personally and, and what I wanted to achieve, so. UTSA gave you the offer to become a running back and you are the all-time leading rusher. How does it feel to be embedded into the UTSA foundation? Uh, it's amazing, you know. Not too many people can say that. No one else can say that no. <laughs> but me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's a tremendous, just like I said, a, a testament to my work ethic and, you know, my roots and where I came from and, you know, what I went through and what I had to, to do to get there. I was just worried about being a good, you know, collegiate running back. Um, I didn't really have any records that I wanted to break. I didn't really know about any records because it was so new. Um, and then at the same time, I was just trying to do something positive for the city of San Antonio. Um, you know, there was a guy, some guys that, you know, played in San Antonio that started, you know, the program and I just kind of wanted to be a part of it and help contribute and, you know, pretty much passed on the torch, um, to, you know, to other guys that, you know, in the future that, you know, have uh, thoughts about, you know, going to UTSA because they're going to be, you know, they're going to recruit the city. There's going to be more opportunities for kids across the city to come to UTSA and it has been and, you know, it's been special.